So, 2010. And the mileage years get that back up. 18,684. This is the final walk around video of the bike, just to show you anything we've come across in the valley or any extras that's on the bike. We'll start off at the front. We've got an aftermarket power bronze tinted screen on there. It's in good condition. It does have a few little marks here and there, but overall, really nice. The mirrors, back to room on the right hand side, it's good condition. Come down the stem, it's a little bit tarnished there, where the chrome finish has come off. And again, with the left one, it's a little bit tarnished. And again, on the back there, overall okay condition. Headlight all seems good. A few little stone chips here and there, as you would expect with the mileage. Overall nice condition. Both four legs are nice. Has a radiator guard. Front mud guard on the right hand side does have a little crack there. We usually find that from a disc lock being left on, but it doesn't move or flex or anything like that. So overall, that's fine. The front wheel, nice condition. Does have the odd stone chips here and there. One there. A couple that's been touched in. Overall, nice condition. All the headers are nice. All the engine bay is nice. On the right hand side, low down, it's a little mark just there. I've also got RNG crash protection on the frame higher up. Heel guard of the rear sets is a little bit rubbing there. Again, nothing out of the ordinary. All the swing guns nice. Again, the rear wheel has the odd little stone chip here and there. But again, nothing out of the ordinary. We've got carbon fibre hugger on the rear there. We've got Yoshimura twin exhaust. Really nice. Got carbon fiber chain guard on there as well. Chain sprockets in good condition. This is the swing guard on this side. And the shock, if you can see in there, it's all nice. We've also got Scott Euler on there. All the frames nice on this side, as is all the engine casing. More RNG crash protection there. The little leads you've seen there, we just keep them on in the shop to keep the bikes charged. We can purchase them separately for a small cost. Left hand side are the panel works nice this side. As is the wheel on this side as well. To the rear, there's a slight little rub mark. On the right hand side there, left hand side are good, it's generally from people getting on and off, rear seat's in really nice condition, as is the main seat, got a tank protector on there, and the tank's in nice condition, does have a couple of marks here and there, the worst one being again on the right hand side, as you can see there, a bit, it's a little bit tarnished in the middle, more where your keys have been hitting. Overall, nice. I've also, I've got the benefit of having Oxford heated grips, also, aftermarket levers on both sides. All the dash does as it should. Overall, really nice example. If you'd like to know any more about the bike or would like to come and view the bike, 
It's at Ryder Motorcycles Castle Road, Sittingbourne.